Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're all the way over, zoom, we're over in verse chapter 15. Today, verses 3 to 7, Jesus is going to tell three parables. We're going to look at the first one today. Notice what we have here. So here it is, starting in verse 3. So he, Jesus, he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it. And when he has found it, he relays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine just persons who need no repentance. So now we're going to see this is common to all three of the cases here, rejoicing and celebrating when somebody returns to the fold. But here, we start here with the lost sheep. So this guy's got 100 sheep, 99 are safe, just one, just one, only one is lost. And what does he do? He's going to go out after that one sheep for all he's worth. He's going to turn the place upside down looking for that one sheep. He's trying to save that one sheep. And if you and I think about the world around us and all the lost people, lost people on every side, it's not really quite like there's like 99 are in and 1% is out. If that were the case, if you were the only lost person, Jesus would come just for you. If this planet, seven and a half billion people or so, they say live on planet Earth right now, if, if seven and a half billion and one people lived on planet Earth and seven and a half billion were, were safely in the fold, Jesus would come just to save that one, one person. He would come just, even if that person were to turn down, Jesus would be willing to die on the cross to make an, uh, the opportunity for that person to receive him for eternal life. That's the kind of God we have. He goes out searching for the lost. And today, God is still searching for the lost before he wraps it all up. And we know the wrap-up's coming very quickly because of Bible prophecy and how we understand that. But right here, we know what? The Lord Jesus is coming soon, but there's still many to be gathered in. And so there's a lingering, there's a, a pause. And so friends, are you among the 99 that are safe in the Father's fold? Then, then give praise to God. But there are those that are not safely in the fold and we, they need to be found and there will be great rejoicing when they're found. Great rejoicing, great rejoicing in heaven. The angels, these high intellectual beings, holy beings who have never sinned, when a human being turns from wickedness and turns and receives the Lord Jesus and allows him to forgive him and transform his life, the angels, the angels lose their mind with joy. They're so happy. And that is the way God is. God is so happy when even one will come home. Friends, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your great desire to save the lost. Thank you that you've reached out to save, save each one of us. Lord, bless us, help us, watch over us, help us to walk with you, be our shepherd. May we follow you because you have the words of life. Lord, be our helper in these things. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, the Lord bless you today in all that you do.